Get up, George. He's still tired because he hasn't had enough sleep. From birth to death, since the dawn of humankind, everyone has done it. But we rarely ask, why do we sleep? This deceptively simple question is actually a profound mystery, one that's attracted whole schools of brilliant scientists into devoting all their waking hours to finding the answer. This is one of them, Dr. Amita Segal. Until maybe 15 years ago, sleep was not viewed as a hard science. Now I think there's a lot of activity in the field and people seeking to answer that very question. You know, why do we sleep? Dr. Sagel studies fruit flies at her lab to unravel what exactly is going on when we're sleep deprived. So when you're awake, your brain, your neurons are firing all the time and you're building up all this garbage and you need to clean it out. And I think that only happens during sleep. So for instance, back in the 70s, I think, these experiments were done where rats were sleep deprived for three weeks and then they died. The exact cause of death still isn't known, but scientists were surprised to discover that the damage in the rats wasn't limited to brain degeneration. This experiment showed that when you don't get enough sleep, your whole body feels it. Your liver, your kidneys, your heart. It's not just your mental health that suffers. In fact, here's someone who studies how the detritus of exhaustion can fill up our very cells. This doctor is kind of a big deal in the world of sleep science. He's from Glasgow. His name is Alan Pack. What do you want me to do? I'm Alan Pack. I'm director of the Center for Sleep and Circadian Neurobiology at the University of Pennsylvania. Dr. Pack's lab explores how lack of sleep can really muck up our cells. But before we get into that, we need to say a few words about proteins. Well, proteins, you know, there's things like receptors, amino acids, holding process, peptides, chains, and... Pause. Our tissues and organs are composed of proteins, which fold themselves into unique three-dimensional shapes that determine their function. That's what our cells are designed to do. Create beautiful, perfectly folded proteins that carry out the millions of tasks that power the stunning machinery of a human body. Okay, got it? Now let's get back to Dr. Pack. Humans can sustain wakefulness without consequence for about 16 hours. And once they get beyond that, then you start to misfold proteins. So the way the cell responds to misfolded proteins is tries to get rid of them because they're toxic and tries to shut down making more. So it shuts down the conveyor belt, essentially, like that old Lucille Ball thing, because you don't want more stuff coming if you can't properly deal with it. Your body needs perfectly folded proteins for basically every function it carries out. Lack of sleep leads to misfolded proteins that clump up in your cells, and that can cause problems, problems that could potentially contribute to catastrophe. The takeaway? Beautiful sleep equals beautiful proteins, which equals beautiful humans. Let sleep do its job by taking out the trash every night, and you'll be primed to accomplish great things every day. Are you an eight-hour man? Oh, more than that, I sleep about nine hours. 